We're back to the Neil Haley Show. I'm excited first to welcome my co-host, Spiffy Sean Styles. Spiffy Sean, how are you? I know you're excited about your our guest today. And I'm just going to jump in right now and just get this going because of the short time we have. So I'm excited to welcome Riley Vocal. And we're going to talk about Hightown. How are you, Riley? Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. It's got to be interesting. Whenever you get into these different roles and these different performances, I'm just going to go with a quick short question with you. Just, you know, did you ever think you're, in your whole career where you'd be involved in so many amazing projects? No, not a chance. I, I don't think I knew that any of this was an option for me. I've been very lucky and I'm very grateful. Awesome. Okay, good. First question. You got to work with Aaron Sorkin and an all-star cast on the newsroom, and your scene in the premiere became the defining clip shown everywhere. Now, that had to change your life just a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes, it did. Um, it was it was incredible. It was, um, you know, a dream to be able to work with the best of the best. And I always say, you know, the newsroom for me, I, I was a small part of that show, but I got to come every day and work with the best of the best and watch them do what they do. And Sorkin is everything you would hope he is. He's kind. He's such an incredible talent and it's just really a genius. And getting to watch him work um, was one of the most memorable experiences of my life. Now let's talk about Jerry Brockheimer. And when you got this role, you had to be so enthused by this opportunity on High Town. Oh, yes, I I was. I was, um, I mean, again, a dream to work with someone at that caliber. Um, he was also just incredibly kind and so amazing to work with and ran an incredible show. Um, and I was, I think I was equally um, excited and terrified when I booked this role. It was so different than anything I'd ever done before. Um, I knew it was going to be my biggest challenge, but part of the reason why I wanted the role. And it ended up being, I think, my most fulfilling um, role yet. It also taught you how to dance, which obviously is a big departure from some of the other roles that you've had. How did you prepare for a life of exotic dancing and hanging out with drug kingpins? Oh, man, I know. That's that's where the equally excited and terrified part comes in. You know, when I booked <laughs> the role, I don't think I could have could even touch my toes, never mind have the confidence to dance on stage. Um but I did, I did a lot of training for six months and it actually ended up being an empowering experience and um, I, I really enjoyed it and have so much respect for the girls who do it because they are athletes. It is a full body workout. Um, so I definitely, I had to learn to dance. Um, I, and I, I really had to kind of dig deep to try to understand the perspective of someone who's world was so different than mine and so different than any character I'd played before. You know, I had to kind of let go and get messy and be vulnerable in a way that I never had been on camera before. So Riley, Sean and I are pro wrestlers. I'm, I'm retired coming back. He still wrestles. He's a performer as well. And as a musician, Amazing. I think so. So <laughs> I understand about getting out of character. I really did a great job. Once I stopped thinking I was this, they try to treat me like a big goof when I'm an educated guy. And I started being more myself in the ring and it worked out way better and it worked way better in camera. Well, it helped figure seven now. I mean, I, all that. Play a little bit I understand, but I don't want to play that character. Well, so Riley, and that was talking about this. How long did it start to make this character feel comfortable for you? Um, you know, we had um, an incredible cast and production and crew. And so it was really apparent from the beginning that everyone really cared about telling the story. So I think we were all in it together and all exploring that together. Our showrunner, Rebecca Cutter, was always in my corner and she helped me with, you know, anything I needed along the way. Um, but I, I think each season, you know, you find new complexities of the character that weren't there at the beginning. So you become more and more comfortable with them. But it was kind of one of those situations where after prepping and working with everyone for a while before shooting, as soon as I put on, I say, Renee's heels, not her shoes, her heels, I kind of became that character, you know, as soon as those heels came on. That is amazing. And I think it kind of goes back uh, to what Neil was saying uh, with wrestling. You kind of put the spandex on, you sort of assume that persona and it helps you really embrace it a little bit more. Yeah. And you got to, you know, you got to bring that energy and, and maybe like you were saying, bring an element of yourself, your true self to that character. And that kind of 
I think leads to a deeper connection with the viewers. So what I was saying is to uh, Riley that basically through training for this role as a dancer, what did you learn most from the mentors that helped you through this? You said the physical aspect, but what about the performance aspect? You know, I, I was, I was very nervous about it and um, it, it's pretty terrifying to, to be that vulnerable and perform in that way when you'd never done anything like that before. And I think I was really taken aback by how supportive they were. Um, all of the women that I worked with were just so uplifting and kind of anytime they saw that spark of insecurity or worry, they would just um, motivate you in a way where just like pump you up and tell you, you can do it. And, you know, we're, we're all different shapes and sizes and everyone's beautiful. And it's all about how you kind of carry yourself on that stage. Um, and you kind of are your own character on the stage, you know, Renee's was candy and you kind of, um, perform through that character. And they really helped me to kind of see that and understand that and be able to kind of face the fear. Oh, that's, that's, that's unbelievable. All right, Sean, we have one more question, a short question. Riley, this season of Hightown has been all about characters facing a deep reckoning. The finale's uh, coming up. The bad guys are looking for retribution, and the tension is palpable. Can you talk a little bit about this season and the upcoming finale? Oh, man, yeah. A lot comes to the surface this season. You know, we've, we've followed these characters over the last two seasons, and they've you know, we've seen them struggle with addiction and um, recovery and all different kinds of things. Um, and I think this season, their truth really comes to the surface, you know, who they really are, what they really want, and how far they're willing to go to get it. Um, it's it's probably my favorite season. It's very exciting, thrilling, heartbreaking, sexy. It's all the things. Um, and I'm so excited for everyone to see it. Well, I love it, Riley. I guess basically your character is developing as well in this process without giving it away. Uh, you you see a growth in this character, don't you? Yes, yes, definitely. She's been through a roller coaster, you know, and I think, you know, uh, season one, she's she's kind of used as a pawn in the game, even though I always say don't underestimate her because she's, she's always looking out for herself in the end and she kind of knows knows her power and knows how to use it. Um, season two, I think she becomes more of a game player and you see um, her kind of take, take over these power dynamics and get a taste for what that feels like. And then season three, I think uh, her truth comes out and, and there's a lot to see. I'm really, really excited for everyone to see the finale tomorrow. All right. Well, thanks again, Riley. Thanks for stopping by and best of luck and continued success. Thank you so much, guys, for having me. It was so great to talk to you both. Take care. All right. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.